This week in episode 7 of Limitless Outdoors, we're chasing bull elk in the high country of North Idaho. This is my favorite time of year during the September archery hunt and it hasn't disappointed so far. We've been on several bulls, had a ton of action, and now we're coming into one of the coolest hunts I've ever been on, where we're about to spend 20 minutes with a bull at under 15 yards before he presents a good shot. Hope you enjoy this hunt as much as we enjoyed making it. Straight to the left. Right. Right. I had been full draw for over four minutes and I just couldn't hold it anymore. If you've ever been at full draw that long, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I was shaking uncontrollably and there was just no shot, so I had no choice but to let her go.
this bull has been at about 15 yards for 15 minutes now and we still haven't gotten a shot. You can see how thick some of the country is that we hunt here and how tough it is to get a shot on some of these bulls. Most shots that I've ever taken are under 10 yards on elk in the high country of North Idaho. Let's go see what we did, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Passed up uh, three bulls in the last three three days and we killed this one today. You never know, we might get another. The Apostle Paul in Romans 1 says that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the power of God unto salvation. The power of God unto salvation. He says, I won't be ashamed of it. And the question is, is, what is the gospel? The gospel of Jesus Christ is, is, is the good news that Jesus, the only begotten Son of God, came in the flesh as a man, lived a perfect sinless life, died in our place on the cross, was buried, was resurrected, and ascended to the Father. The power of, of the faith in that, the belief in that, is salvation. That's how salvation comes apart, through faith, by His grace of dying in our place. Through faith, we are saved. And when you think about power, uh, just like the, the power it takes to drive a vehicle down the road, if you don't have fuel in your tank, you're, you're going to run out of power. You won't be able to move. If your electricity uh, goes out because a tree falls on the power lines, you don't have power to light your house. 
And when we think about power in those terms, we can, we can bring that into a spiritual sense where if you don't have the power of God, you don't have salvation. Just like if you don't have the power of the fuel in the engine, you're not going forward. You don't have power in your house. You don't have lights or heat. If you don't have fire, you don't have heat. If you don't have that power of God in your life, you don't have eternity with him. And so the power of God that we must, we must have faith in is the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the good news of Jesus coming and dying in our place and beating death and extending his grace to us that all who would call on the name of the Lord would be saved. So, do you have the power, do you have the faith in the power of God in your life? If not, you're not going forward. <laughs> he rolled a long ways down that hill. too far at all. Not one bit. I'm stoked. Nice shooting, G. Good archery bull right there. Oh, man. That was a great bull. Got to bring the llamas up now. Yep. Got more ivories, Dad. The ivory chain grows larger. He's not a giant, but hey, that was a good time. I enjoyed that very much. Elk with an arrow. I'm not Colton. I'm not waiting for the seven by. <laughs> Can't take it. I gotta get one down. Hey, well, there's always out of state tags. Oh yeah. Oh, it was a heavy one. Oh yeah. I got it. Jump, move. We're good. That's a nice bull. Yes, it is. Very happy with him. All right, uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about the calls that we use when we're hunting these elk. Uh, Calling is about the most important thing, and also uh, limiting your calling uh, to be effective. You know, we heard we located a bull down here, and then we checked our wind, made a game plan, and before we did any more calling, we'd gotten all the way into position and gotten close. Now, a herd bull, if you call too much, he'll just round up his cows and take off. But these smaller bulls, they're a little bit easier to call in. Um, my preferred bugle that I use is made by Barry Game Calls. They're out of Spokane, Washington, uh, and I think you can find them at Barry gamecalls.com or put it in Google but this is the thunder bugle here and it's a pack bugle it breaks down to pretty much nothing here and uh, fits nice in your pack when you're just hiking around yeah, lightweight and extends out makes an awesome sound I've called in more elk with this than any call any other call out there I know that other manufacturers make some pretty good stuff uh, Primos has some good calls but for bugles, uh, my preference and what the bulls seem to respond to the best is this Barry game call. It's the Thunder Bugle. Uh, I also use a Primos cow and calf call, keep that around my neck, and a uh, Primos mouth read. And that works really well uh, to use in tandem with everything. So the calls are really where it's at. You need to mimic the elk. If you spend a lot of time around elk, you can hear what they're saying to each other and uh, really try and mimic them. But I highly recommend this Barry game call. Uh, very excellent bugle to use, and uh, I would never use a different one. Just got packed back in here. The meat's nice and cool. Uh, that's the way to go. If you have some rope with you, that's always a good way to go until you can pack something out. You want to get it off the ground in the air. Uh, we just tied this log between these two trees and hung the meat here. Keeps it cool, keeps it clean, and uh, we'll be ready to go here shortly. So we're going to get these llamas loaded up. It's been a good day. Uh, 
pretty stoked. Get this thing out of here and get another one on the ground. Go through it all again.